Hello everybody, Alexander back here with another Pokemon Violet Let's Play episode. Today we are going to be trying to catch the Spook Noodle. So what we're going to do here is we are going to go into our Pokedex. We can get this to work properly. There we go. And we're going to check where it like actually spawns. And then we are going to try to get it. Here he is. I want to know his habitat. I want to know where he lives. Oh, wow. It kind of just lives all over the place, doesn't it? Lives... Oh, it is rarely seen. Okay, so it's like, what, a 5 or 10% encounter rate? Alright, well, you know, we, uh... Check our bag real quick. I'm pretty sure I bought Pokeballs and stuff the last time I was doing this. Yep, perfect has been a little bit of time, given that some life stuff happened. But we are going to try to catch this guy and have him as part of our, like, squad. So what I might do is try rolling in and out of render distance. That might be the fastest way to get this done. Thought I saw him out of the corner of my eye there for a minute. seeing that the last time I was over here. But since he is like rarely seen, it could be the kind of thing where I have to hit pause until I find one. But I am going to try not to do that. As I, I technically classify that as editing, and I try very hard not to do that unless the game is quite literally making me do it. Because I had to do that with uh, a couple of recordings that I put up on the channel where just some stuff happened and I had to, like, pause the game and deal with it real quick and then come back to it. Let's see here. Pokeball. A netball. Nice. Good for catching lower level Pokemon than yourself. And it can be actually a very useful item if you're hunting for lower level things. I do not want to believe. I want a spook noodle. Give me the spook noodle. <laughs> I will have him. But uh, yeah, what you guys saw happen before with me trying to catch it was just like, that is exactly why you buy like a butt ton of Pokeballs. Because you just never know. You just never know. And this is why I'm leaving the mistakes and so that, you know, if I screw up, you guys can just prevent yourselves from experiencing that same screw up. Yeah, see, I know you're a trainer and all, but we are hunting for the mighty spook noodle, okay? We have no interest in battling people right now. We are looking explicitly for the spook noodle. Okay. Alright. This looks kind of intense. Uh, let's see. I know that that's a small blue with like the dark typing, but I'm just not that interested. Oh god. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm fighting a bunch of Tauros now. Let's see here. I guess. Try to like, paralyze him. Kinda see if we can't shift this in our favor. Okay, can you not kick my Pikachu in the face? Thanks. I would really appreciate that. Let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, we'll we'll switch to Fido. God. I think it's great that some of these Pokemon I don't even need to rename them. They're just like perfect the way they are.
Uh, and since we are just like kind of hunting for a really specific Pokemon today, I was gonna go over better just like a few plans for the channel, I guess, in this episode, since like there's not much going on in the way of actual gameplay other than me looking for Speak Noodle. Uh, so we're gonna be covering a multitude of like RPGs and stuff, but also like survival games. And I want you guys to keep an eye out for those, because I'm looking to looking to start playing through things that are, like, kind of time-consuming, you know? Uh, survival games are just some of my favorite games to play, and I will be putting up things for them, as well as, like, um, just things like, uh, either, like, it's weird for them to be classified as an RPG because of, like, what they are, so games like Stardew Valley, good example. Because it is, like, you, you are technically, like, playing as this, you know, unique character that you designed and made and put into the world or whatever. But it is also technically a farming sim. But, like, that's gonna, at some point, be something that we play through. Uh, I might even do a multitude of videos on it if it's something people end up liking. Uh, definitely going to be putting up some Ark, Survival, Evolved, or Ascended content. I'm not sure which yet. Probably Ascended when it drops. Um, and if anybody wants, like, Ark, Survival, Evolved content, I can do that as well. I've played a lot of the game. Like, I've played through, like, every map and stuff and done everything there is to do in the game, like, on my own time prior to ever having started the YouTube channel, but, like... If that's something people are interested in, just uh, comment below and we'll see what we can get set up here. The Let's Plays are taking up a fair bit of time, but that is okay. It was in the den. Oh. That is a... God, what's its name? I know what it is, and I know that it's good. Uh, change Pokemon. We're going to try to catch this. But I don't want to use Pikachu. I want to use... Probably Watts. We'll try Watts, we'll see if we can get away with it. Because if I can catch this thing, it's actually a very, very good Pokemon. Extremely good, in fact. So we're going to try to catch it, and then we're probably going to use it once we have it. And I know that I said we weren't going to replace the light bulb with the two, but like... This thing might actually be more amazing over the Pikachu, but I'm not sure yet. And the other thing is, like, I already have the bird that's also an electric type, and this thing becomes poison electric, I'm pretty sure. So I'm not 100% sure what I want to do here in terms of, you know, team. The nice thing is, is because it's a low tier raid, it's not like an absolute nightmare to get done. Uh, in addition to that, the, these are a lot better than the ones that Sword and Shield were, and for those of you who haven't played, the version of this like activity in Sword and Shield was a bit more complicated because it was turn orientated. Meaning that like it took forever to get them done, and the potential for failure was there because it was a I know that was in play, if I remember correctly. Like, you had a certain number of turns to win and catch the Pokemon before being thrown out of like, the net. And that combined with, like, it just being this long, drawn-out thing made it very difficult to do. Let's see what we got here.
You know, I think I accidentally skipped the dex entry for that just now. No, no, I did not. Thank God. <laughs> Toxel, this selfish, attention-seeking Pokemon stores poison and electricity in two different sacks inside its body. Yeah, this thing is just insane. Sure. Um... I don't know. <laughs> I'll name it Olivia. Because every Olivia I have ever known has been a super toxic person. And if you are an Olivia that is not a toxic person, good job, man. You have beaten the unfortunate expectation that life has granted me to that name. Uh, add to the party. Let's see here. Man, I don't know, cause like... Alright, as cool as the light ball Pikachu is, I'm just not sure, but at the same time, like, lightning seagulls kinda weird. Yeah, I'm getting rid of Lightning Seagull. I, I like Pikachu a little too much, and having a poison Pokemon that's, like, good is always beneficial. Gonna make sure we save. It is an extremely low level, though, and I'm fairly certain that it classifies as a baby Pokemon. So I'm gonna give it the Soothe Bell. Just to be so. Oh, whoops, that's not use. It's give to this little guy. Just in case. And then we're gonna go back over here, and we're going to put the Ascendant God himself, Chompy, as the leader of the party. And then we're going to continue on our way, and we are going to look for Spook Noodle. Okay. Because Spook Noodle. You know, that is not what I meant to do, and that's okay. I meant to hit that button. Oh, God. No, not Meryl. Water Pokemon. No. That is that is the thing Chompy just cannot reasonably fight. And that is okay. Uh, we will just swap to Alexis here, and that'll be okay. I guess, uh, battle, do I... Sure, we'll just use recover. Okay, so we outspeed the Meryl, good to know. Wasn't sure how the, uh, speed would check out there since this thing is technically a wall Pokemon. But now that we know that we outspeed, we just do that and call it a day. Slam, what did the attack, and... Venusshock again. Uh, so the thing about Venusshock, the reason why I'm keeping it is because it, I think it's like a guaranteed crit or something on poison Pokemon, or it just does more damage to poison Pokemon. Let me double check that really quickly, actually. Whoops. Uh, no. Uh, just back out of that screen. I did not mean to do that. It like, gosh, I gotta not click that button. I am so not used to this GoPro controller, and it is quite the, uh, the task here. There it is. Rearrange moves. My bad. I just wanted to see what this does. The user enters the target in special places. So like with this move's power is doubled if the target is poisoned. Okay, cool. Yeah, the reason why I'm keeping that is because of a couple of reasons, and that is that Marini here has the ability Merciless, as you can see, which makes it so that your attacks become critical hits if the target is poisoned. That is any attack. That is not just Venusshock. But the reason why this is so important is because Marini here will eventually learn a move called Toxic. 
that makes it so that you can poison the Pokemon badly, which causes them to lose percentile health per, like, progression of round. And then things like Venushock being a guaranteed critical on top of double damage is, like, disgusting. Uh, remember moves. Do you happen to know it? No, okay. So the nice thing about this game is that I do not have to go through the trouble of going to, like, a move remember. I can literally just click remember moves on any of my Pokemon and then just have them relearn something that they would have already known. Which is extremely helpful. Same. And that won't become relevant until later anyway, but it is an extremely helpful feature to have nonetheless. Murkrows. Maybe Spook Noodle is only like available at night, which it transitioning to night now is extremely beneficial to me. Uh, Alright, there we go. Faster travel time. We're gonna go heal up our Pokemon at the Pokemon Center, and we're gonna keep looking for Spook Noodle until time runs out. So we're either catching him today, or, you know, we're not. Good lord, the bike is, like, super touchy, and that's okay. I'm just glad we have Rocket Dirt Bike Dragon. I am not going to complain about his turn radius. Um, and I do know that I have, like, two poison Pokemon on the team right now. Yes, I am aware that that setting exists, and I have already messed with it. Let's see here. Gonna keep looking for Spook Noodle. Because Spook Noodle. So, the fact that those, like, Corvus Squires or whatever they are there is good, and I'm, I'm gonna want to catch one either today or the next time I play. I haven't decided just yet. Because you do, you do want a good flying-type Pokemon, but it's just that, like, with everything that I'm wanting in the party, it's been kind of difficult to justify getting one. And like not knowing what I'd remove for it if I had it kind of thing. Now, I will eventually build like maybe like a super annoying party to just like maybe mess with people in online battles or something, but this is mostly just for like a story playthrough. And if like team building and other things is something you guys want, you're gonna need to comment below on that, because like, the way that we're treating uh, playthroughs on the channel, unless people want like more in-depth videos, is we kind of just do a let's play of it and move on. Oh, like I have specified information about these games, like I know how to build pretty good teams, I'm not saying they're like world class or anything, they're good enough to win a fair bit of battles and Definitely, if they're just being used against your friends, like, <laughs> I can build some very annoying things to play against. As well as things that are just, you know, fun to use. And, uh, something I will say about Pokemon is they have definitely done a much better job of allowing broader strategies to be a thing. And there's, there's, like, stuff where it's technically not that effective to do, but it's still, like, fun. And, uh, you can do some really interesting things. Maybe that give me a little coin. Go back over here. See, the, uh, the thing about the whole, like, Cyclozar thing is I'd bother catching one if the game allowed me to ride on it instead of Rocket Dirt Five Dragon. It's just, like, a switch up. But it doesn't. So I don't see much point in capturing something that doesn't evolve if I can't do anything cool with it. Because I don't like Pokemon that don't evolve. I've, I've never liked Pokemon that don't evolve. That and like, uh, legendary Pokemon are like another thing with me. Is because I, I think it's just weird that 
that you're able to capture them. I mean, it's cool that you can have them, and it's cool that they have, like, a stat block and that you can get them. But I still think it's just, like, weird that there's something that you can capture and have and use. Good lord. Am I really just not gonna find one? Is the game just gonna spite me that hard on this? This is ridiculous. I just want a spook noodle. Why are you doing this to me, game? Why? I don't understand. I just want a spook noodle. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to tell anybody why I'm calling it that until I catch one, because for those of you who know, you know. And I really want one. And the reason why you keep seeing me go across that bridge is I'm going outside of render distance and, like, forcing spawn recycling. Now, that is how that used to work. I don't know if it still works that way, but it appears to be working, which is what matters. Come on, spook noodle. Just be my friend. Just want to have you so that I can lose you against everything in the game, because... Spook Noodle is actually kind of OP. Oh god, no. No! No, I don't want it! I don't want it! I don't want it! The fact that, so like, the only reason I'm not using the Tauros is because it doesn't evolve. And the simple fact that that thing is just face tanking super effective moves is ridiculous. Like, yeah, it's going into the orange, but like, the reality of it is, is that, like, Fido outlevels it by three levels, and that thing was still just, like, eating supers to the face and just not caring. Which is kind of impressive. I'm not gonna lie, it is kind of impressive. Oh god. You know, I was trying to get the shiny thing on the ground, but... <laughs> because of the way the whole, like, drifting thing works, that just wasn't happening. I'm actually just gonna, like, spend the turn healing Fido. And then we will send Fido out to punch the Tauros in the face. Sir, can you please not kick Chompy in the teeth? Thank you. I greatly appreciate that. You know, it's just... No manners, you know? attack rows and his special attack rows. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> Joke's on you, the dog is weirdly tanky. I do kind of like the dog, but I feel like it's gonna fall off later, which is why I replace it. But it is going to be, like, a matter of time kind of thing. 26, learn Baton Pass? No, and that's just because you don't know anything right now that would make it viable for me to teach you that. Oh, but you are evolving, so this is useful. What do you evolve into? Please be good. Oh my god, it's adorable. Congratulations, your Fido has evolved into a dash spun. I'm not changing it. <laughs> it's perfect. Dash spun, dog Pokemon. The surface of this Pokemon's skin hardens when exposed to intense heat, and its body has an appetizing aroma. Wouldn't that, like, I don't know, make it hard for this thing to survive? Like, what kind of stuff is finding it appetizing, and how is it not just, like, 
And I mean, I get it, it's Pokemon, so like ecosystems don't technically work the exact same as our version of nature does here, but like, still, it's kind of intense. Alright, well, you know, we didn't get a spook noodle, but we did get a cinnamon bun dog, so I guess that's something. I really am kind of upset that we did not manage to catch a spook noodle, and that's okay. <laughs> it's literally a walking cinnamon roll, and I think it's great. Yeah, I, I know Nurse Joy. All right, we're gonna do one last, like, look, and hopefully we find a spook noodle. God, uh, I want one, I do, but at the same time, I'm not gonna spend, like, forever looking. All right, well, I guess that's that, and we're just gonna have to try again at some other point in time, and there's a shiny thing on the ground here. All right. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you all for hanging out. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed your time here. And please remember to hit that notification bell and tell your friends. We're trying to build a beautiful community here, and we can't do it without you. Alexander, signing out.